People don't own pets. Pets own people. They tell us what they'll eat and what they won't. And we shop accordingly. They show us which part of the bed is theirs and which part is ours. They even tell us when it's time to get up. Pets let us know it's time for a treat with a simple look. And when they need a comfy place to sit, our favorite chair becomes their favorite chair. As for the couch, they're happy to share. Pets tell us when it's time for a walk, when it's not time, and how fast we'll be traveling. And when they're not getting their way, they'll melt our hearts by being too cute for words. When we try to teach them new tricks, they teach us to beg. And while they'll wait patiently if we disappear for a while, when they disappear, we search high and low until we're reunited. On days when we feel like the whole world is against us, pets can raise our spirits with a wag of a tail, a lick, or just by quietly sitting by our side. So great is their influence that they actually speak to us in conversations of our own invention, telling us that for all our flaws, they love us almost as unconditionally as we love them. The thing we do is designed to make pets happy. It's why our stores are big enough to carry everything they crave, but small enough to feel like home. It's why we hire people who don't just know animals, but remember their names. It's why we search out healthy new foods that help pets live happier and longer lives and keep our prices low enough to make pampering pets easier. It's why we reward loyalty with even more savings. It's why we allow humans in every store so that no pet has to shop alone. And it's why our stores are located in neighborhoods so dropping by is always a snap. Do pets own people? Of course they do. And we wouldn't have it any other way.